Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the Feast of the Triumph of the Cross. Public veneration of the Holy Cross dates to the 4th century when St. Helen, mother of Emperor Constantine, discovered it in Jerusalem. This feast comm commemorates the rescue of the Holy Cross from the Persian in the 7th century. The Church sings of the triumph of the Holy Cross, the instrument of salvation. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the King who was lifted up on the cross for our sake. Come, let us worship Christ, the King who was lifted up on the cross for our sake. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ the King, who was lifted up on the cross for our sake. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship Christ the King, who was lifted up on the cross for our sake. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ the King, who was lifted up on the cross for our sake. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Masa. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, Come let us worship, worship Christ the King, King who, was who was lifted up on the cross for our, for our sake. sake. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us, let us worship Christ the King, who was lifted up on the cross for our sake. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let us worship Christ the King, who was lifted up on the cross for our sake. To destroy the power of hell, Christ died upon the cross. Clothed in strength and glory, he triumphed over death. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled with the Buddha banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord hung upon the cross to wash away our sins in His own blood. How splendid is that blessed cross! Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. 
you heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you host of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. How radiant is that precious cross which brought us our salvation. In the cross we are victorious. Through the cross we shall reign. By the cross all evil is destroyed. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Numbers. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Saraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against God and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a saraf and mount it on a pole. And if any of you who have been bitten, look at it. They will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent 
looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Hearken, my people, to my pleading. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter mysteries from of old. Do not forget the works of the Lord. While he slew them, they sought him and inquired after God again, remembering that God was their rock and the Most High God their Redeemer. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But they flattered him with their mouths and lied to him with their tongues, though their hearts were not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful to his covenant. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But he, being merciful, forgave their sin and destroyed them not. Often he turned back his anger and let none of his wrath be roused. Do not forget the works of the Lord. A reading from the le second letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus is Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your cross you have redeemed the world. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but, but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang kapistahan po ng exaltation of the cross. Makikita po natin yung cross nandyan sa ating sa loob ng simbahan. Marahil magtatanong kayo, why today? Sana sa, sa, sa Semana Santa na lang. 
Bakit today ang kapistahan nito? Because exactly today, September 14, the year 326, literally, yung relic ng krus ng ating Panginoong Jesus na nakita ni Saint Helena o ni Santa Elena, literally, has been lifted up sa Jerusalem. Kaya meron pong connection ito sa history ng ating simbahan. Nakita po ni Santa Elena yung tunay na krus ng ating Panginoon. Nung siya pumunta sa Jerusalem, nagnanais na magtayo ng simbahan at habang sila po ay nagsimula, mayroon po silang nakitang tatlong boxes. At they believe to be the relics of the crosses ng tatlong taong ipinako noon. Kaya nga naman, simula noon, nagsimula, ginawa yung simbahan ng Holy, yung Basilica ng Holy Sepulchre dun sa Jerusalem. Marahil sa mga katoliko, bahagi po ng pilgrimage na pinupuntahan po yan. Kaya nga naman, on that day itself today, September 14, literally inangat yung krus na yun. Well, indeed, kung titignan po natin sa buhay ng simbahan, indeed, no? Christians have been trying to lift up the cross of Jesus so that everyone may be able to, to venerate it. Bahagi po ng ating kasaysayan ng bigi, pagiging kristyano, ang pagbibigay pugay o halaga ng krus because we believe that the cross is the symbol of Christianity. Take note, hindi lang po bilang mga katoliko, lahat po ng kristyano. Kaya makikita ho natin lahat ng simbahan. Ang pinakaunang simbolong makikita mo ay yung krus. Emphasizing the value of the cross. Symbolizing our faith as Christians. Kaya sabi ko nga po, may connected po ito, may connection po ito sa history, ni, sa, sa, sa buhay ng simbahan. Santa Elena. Kung marahil maalala natin yung, yung Santa Cruzan. Connected po yun. Santa Cruzan, sino po yung pinakabida doon? Si Santa Elena. Anong bitbit niya? Yung Cruz. But then today, we are being reminded of the value of that in our Christian faith. The Cross is not simply a symbol of our Christian faith, but indeed, this is the symbol of Christ Himself. Napakahalaga po ito sa ating pananampalataya. Kaya nga naman, kung meron mang isang unique sa ating mga Katoliko, ito yung simbolo ng pag, yung, yung pag, ng sign of the cross na ginagawa natin. Lahat ng ginagawa natin sa liturgy, sa loob ng simbahan, we always have this sign of the cross. And this is a basic sign of our faith. Kaya sana magandang paalala ito sa atin. Gaano ba kahalaga sa atin mismo itong pag, yung, pag, yung sign of the cross na ginagawa natin? Yung cross na sinusuot natin. Yung cross na nasa loob ng, simba, ng tahanan natin. Gaano ba kahalaga ito sa atin? Basic katikisin po, lahat ng gawain bilang isang katoliko nagsisimula sa sign of the cross. At malinaw na malinaw nung tayo tinuruan ito, dapat gagawin natin ito ng buong puso. Ipakita natin ito ng buong buo. Eh nakakalungkot po habang tumatagal. Eh sa parang simple, parang ganun na lang. Nakakalungkot, hindi na ganun kahalaga yung krus sa atin. Yung mismong pag-sign of the cross. Nung bata pa tayo, malinaw na malinaw yan na dapat ganito, ganito, ganyan. Eh kaso, habang tumatanda, paliit ng paliit. Minsan nga eh, makikita natin pag tumatanggap ng, ng communion, parang may kinakamot na lang dito sa dibdib. It's a reminder kung gaano nga ba kahalaga sa atin, gaano kahalaga sa iyo ang krus na suot-suot mo sa kwintas mo. Simple isang kwintas na lang ba yan? Paano ka mag-sign of the cross? Ganun na lang ba? Gaano ba kahalaga sa iyo yung cross na ito? The cross that we have here symbolize, well, literally, 
the suffering of Christ. But more than that, this symbolized the victory of Christ for men. Para sa atin ito, nangyari yan dahil sa tao. Nagkaroon ng ganyan dahil sa tao. Kaya bilang isang tao, sana po, wag natin kalimutan ang halaga nito sa buhay natin. Nakakatuwa sapagat ba tayong mga Katoliko ay bagahagi po ito sa atin na naisin natin magkakaroon ng kwintas, magkakaroon ng imahin, bumibili tayo nito. We wanted to have this image in all our daily undertakings. But then, ito yung dapat nating babantayan. Baka masyadong mababaw ang pagsasabuhay nito sa atin. Kaya ito yung magandang paalala habang ginugunita natin ang kapistahang ito. Sana po, laliman natin ang pagsasabuhay nito sa atin bilang mga katoliko. Bitbit natin lagi ito. Suot-suot natin ito. Patigit sa lahat, sana ay sinasabuhay natin ito. Ano ang dapat ipagsasabuhay? Well, again, as I have said, literally, it talks about the suffering. But then, we should learn to transcend the literal meaning of that. Bilang mga Katoliko, ano bang sinasabuhay nito? Yung the value of self-emptying for the sake of men. Sa buhay ni Kristo, the value of giving up Himself to obey the will of God. Kaya sana ganun din tayo. Bilang mga Katoliko, kaisa ni Kristo. At pagsasabuhay nito, sana taos puso rin yung pagiging bukas natin. Taos puso rin yung pagbabahagi natin ng lahat para sa tao. At higit sa lahat, taos puso tayong tanggapin ko anuman ang nilalaan ng Diyos para sa atin. But more than anything else, kung meron mang isang magandang halaga na nais iparating sa atin ng krus, ito po ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa tao. Kaya sana po tuwing ginagawa natin ito habang suot-suot natin ang kwintas ng krus, sana po ay mangingibabaw din ang pag-ibig natin sa kapwa at sa Diyos. We all stand. Let us now pray to God, the Father who loved the world so much that He gave His only Son to die for us upon the cross. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth may fight on the victory beneath the standard of the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the people of every nation and culture may find freedom and peace through the one whom God raised on high. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who stand in need of God's mercy and forgiveness may find hope in the cross of Christ as a way to peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may see in the cross of Jesus the hope of complete healing and recovery, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prior provincial and for our brothers and ministry at Bahay Dominico at St. Mary Magdalene, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rose, Holy Rosary of Manawa and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who sleep in Christ may be cleansed by their sins through the blood of Christ sacrificed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
loving Father in this life and the next. Our hope is in the cross. Grant our petitions as we praise you for your mercies through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross canceled the offense of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For you place the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross, so that where death arose, life might again spring forth. And the evil one who conquered on the tree might likewise on the tree be conquered through Christ our Lord. And through him the angels praise your majesty, heaven and virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. And may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Pinagpala ang napalirit mo sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kalitasan. O sana, o sana, o sana sa Please need. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Bibian mo po kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grants peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. We worship your cross, O Lord, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection, for the wood of the cross has brought joy to the world. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation 
by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We worship, we worship your cross, O Lord, Lord and, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection, for the wood of the cross has brought joy to the world. Let us pray. Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt, or you may visit our website at www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the Electronic Sovereigner Program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass descended, we go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. May these rosaries, candles, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.